Hey everyone, on May 31st, we have an event here at Word of Life Church called A Night of Miracles with Kelly and Sino. Now, Warrior Nation, you know exactly what I'm talking about, how God is on the move all throughout this ministry. But we really feel like that this event uh, is going to be a turning point where things just kick up to a level that they've never been to before in every single way. What God is doing through Sino and Kelly and through this ministry that God is just exalting and promoting in the earth. I, I think he's pouring out his spirit in a way that is absolutely unique in this season. You don't want to be on the other side of the state or the other side of the world or the other side of the planet when this event happens. You want to get here to Jackson, Mississippi, whatever it costs, whether it's a drive or an airline ticket. So I know I'll be here. We want to see you here as well. May 31st, 6 p.m. at Word of Life Church. We hope to see you here. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? How's everybody doing? Praise God. Why is it like you kind of preaching early this morning? <laughs> I have to catch him because that preacher voice just slides out. No, it's not. A, I don't have a preacher voice. Oh, yes. You, oh. My voice is my voice. Okay. Well, it's the voice of a preacher. I don't know about that. Just the voice of a, a person who loves God. Amen. Yeah, I learned y'all. I don't argue with him. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said it better yeah. myself. Praise the Lord. I don't know. I feel a little uh, physically tired this morning. Well, maybe because you finally finished your night. <laughs> and True, right? We want to thank everybody who held on with us through the weekend. And I mean, when I, Warrior Nation, when I say y'all are the truth, y'all are the truth. I'm talking y'all held on. Through all of those videos, and y'all participated, y'all commented, y'all shared, and we just want to say thank you this morning, first thank and foremost. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So many people reached out, so many people texted, so many people responded, inbox, just saying thank you, and that you all were blessed by your night. And so we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you this morning. We know we can count on the Warrior Nation, and we really appreciate that. Honestly, we can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. The staff of Unite Mississippi can't thank you enough. The executive team cannot thank you enough. So. Once again, hear it from me. We are so very much grateful for your love, for yeah. your stance, for your support, and for you all just cheering us on mm -hmm. and completely supporting us behind this great movement. So thank you so much. Yep. Excited this morning. We're going to make our confessions and share yeah, our video. Absolutely. All right, we need everybody sharing this video, okay? Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit more. Okay. Cool. Y'all ready? That. Come on, Word Nation. We need you this morning. Let's do we want that. you all. I was just thinking, like, when we start the video, yeah. Um, good morning, this is Janelle from Omaha. I hope you're coming to the Night of Miracles. Uh, when, we, when the video first goes live, we have about 100 shares. Can we just get into the same culture we're creating in everything to where when we first get on, we start praying, mm -hmm. like at, at all of our events and things like that? We already know when we come in, we come to pray. But, y'all, when we first get on these videos, can we go ahead and just start sharing it even before we start asking you to share? Just start making it automatic. Get on. Hit the share button and start confessing and start praising the Lord. Let's yeah, just make a custom out of that. I agree. You know, and then, of course, by the time we come on and do our big share, there'll be another share. But can we just create a culture to where as soon as you get on, you know, all right, I'm on. Boom. Let me hit the share button. I just thought I would bring that to your attention this wow, morning. Wow, that's a really good way. Of Instead of waiting, that. because there are people who are just kind of wandering around this morning, and you can hit that share button. And every time you hit the share button, you're going to catch somebody different. Because people are always strolling, and you know, whatever, whatever. So please, as soon as you come on, let's start seeing those shares go up right away instead of waiting 10 or 15 minutes for the shares to go up, okay? Amen. All right, let's make our confessions this morning, and then we really appreciate you all just going ahead and sharing the video. All, all right. right, one, two, go. All right, this, this is, is the day, day that, that the Lord, Lord has made. made. I, I will, will rejoice, rejoice and be, be glad, glad in it. it. Let's go ahead and decorate our timelines, okay? Let's just praise the Lord this morning. Let's thank Him for His goodness, for His grace, for His mercy, for His love, for what He's doing today, for what He did on yesterday what he did last year, what he's going to do next year. Let's just praise him. Let's just give him glory and honor. Let's also get ready to share this video. Don't wait for us to count it down. Go ahead and start sharing it. Let's make our confession one more time. This is the, this day, is the day that, that the, the Lord, Lord has made. made. I, will I will rejoice, rejoice and, be and be glad, glad in it. it. We have to make a decision to rejoice. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, it's about our attitude. It's about our True. faith response. True. So today, y'all, we're going to exercise our faith and just tell the Lord thank you in advance thank because you, he's good. He he's is. already done so much. That honestly, if he didn't do anything else, although he will continue to do things, he's already done enough. So we already have multiple reasons to say thank you, even if nothing else happened in life. 
he's already done enough. Wouldn't you agree to that? He's already done enough. So let's make sure we always stay in an attitude of thanksgiving and just always praising and honoring our Father. Amen. All really right? like that. Really like that. All right. The clock is there. Come on, y'all. Let's get the share. count of two, let's share. Once you hit One. the share button, please say, I share. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Instagram. Let's do this. All right. One, two, go. Let's share the video, y'all. counting down. All right, as we begin to share, uh, we are going to start praying. Thank you, Lord All Jesus. All right, we're going to call upon the Lord to move mightily upon the nations of the earth. Yes. So tune into your feed and let God use this video to bless so many lives. Yes, Lord. Come on, Warrior uh, today, Nation. All right? shares up. So, Father, in the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, we just thank you for everybody from across the world, God, yes, who uh, you're going to move upon to come across this video some way, somehow today, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. They're going to come across come this, on, video, this video and you're going to use it you, Lord Jesus. as a platform uh, to minister to them, yes, God, Lord. to transform them, God, to change Thank them, you, God, Lord to Jesus. heal, to deliver, yes, to Lord. pull out that Have single way, mom Lord. who has been just looking for a, a, a moment miracle right now, yes, Father. Lord. Uh, God, so thank you for just uh, hearing uh, how we're releasing our faith we by pressing you, the Father. share button on, this morning, God. And so, Lord, we just also thank you for those who are not yet saved yes, that Lord. will come across this video this morning. We claim them for yes, you that there will be such a harvest of souls, such a, a transformation of lives, such a healing, uh, just healings of bodies, God, yes, healings Lord. of minds, yes, God, just Lord. complete transformation, a complete turnaround. God, we give you all the praise and all the glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we use this moment, God, to welcome yes, the spirit welcome of the living God. Spirit. We acknowledge yes. you. We yes. pause and acknowledge, acknowledge that you're you. in the house, you you're morning. here. We revere you, yes. we reverence you, Have we honor way. you, we respect you. We welcome you, yeah. we intentionally say welcome. Have your rightful place. Crown Jesus, King yes, of Lord. kings and Lord of lords, not only in our hearts, but all over the nations of the earth. Let his name be lifted yes, up among Lord. men. God, lifted, let Lord. your name truly we be lifted up your in name. every way. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify yes. you. Thank you for the gift of another yes, day. Lord. Thank Come you on, for Lord. the thank gift this of today. Thank you, thank you for, we just for declare moment. today thank a you. day of solutions, yes. a day of answers, yes. a day of supernatural yes, manifestations Lord. of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your Have glory. Your we thank you for your grace. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty yes, name. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on and command okay. your day, warrior nation. Hallelujah. It's very important. Hallelujah. What are you expecting today? What are you expecting today? Praise God. Thank you, Lord Praise Jesus. Praise God. Praise okay. God. Thank you. All right, people. Um, today, we want to briefly talk about, you know, how to, how to have a lock-in. How to have a lock-in as we enter into the month of miracles, which is the month of May which today. Is, which is one more day from, well, tomorrow's the 30th. Oh, tomorrow's the 30th. So the first is Wednesday. Is the first Wednesday? Yes. Okay. So Wednesday begins our month of miracles. So we want to kind of prepare you for the month of miracles. Remember, today is the 29th. Yep. Thad's um, birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to Thad. Thad, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate. Yeah. And um, so today is Monday, yes. the 29th. Tuesday is the 30th. So Wednesday is the 1st of May. So from the 1st all the way through the 31st, the of leading to the night of miracles, um, we have declared the month of May, the, the month, month of miracles, of miracles mm -hmm. all right? The month of miracles. And because it's the month of miracles, we have to show you how to assess all that God has planned to do in the month of May. Mm -hmm. The first is we're going back to some of the ancient landmarks, the ancient uh, habits that... that cause an open heaven, hmm. cause an open door to become your norm. When, when, when I call it the 24 seven breakthrough mode. Breakthrough okay? mode, type it in, breakthrough mode. How yes. to enter into a breakthrough mode. Stay there. How to live in a breakthrough mode, how to live in that frequency as a way of life. How to live in that frequency as a way of life. So that's what we want to kind of bring to you and we're going to be talking about this all week long, how to, you know, um, break through in the presence of God, how to live in that realm, how to live in that frequency and truly experience the power of God. All Before right? you jump in, I want to say a couple of things. Um, something I heard yesterday that uh, Bill was preaching on and I thought about the warrior nation. So basically, um, this, I'm paraphrasing and I made it fit the warrior nation. This is what I felt. He said, 
there are places that you can go with some people in prayer. Mm. And it's nice. Mm. And then there are places that you can go with other people in prayer. That's like a higher place than you can go with some other people. But then there's this unique group of people that when you come together, and all I can think about was the Warrior Nation, that when you come together, there is this deep place that you can go to in prayer. And what mm. I've experienced, it's so true. I've noticed that in certain groups, it's only so far I can go. Mm. I can feel it in my spirit. Like, okay, these people, I'm not being funny, but they're not ready. So you can only do so much, you know? But then it's, there's another group where you come together and you can really, really, really begin to press in. But then there's some select people, man. You already know when you come together and you start oh, to man. pray, you already know you're going deep, you oh, know? Man. Like how it was at the retreat. Oh, man. Like it was how it was at Empire. Like how it's going to be at the Night of Miracles at SOS. And I just want to say that's what God is cultivating Amen. through us, through this ministry. Amen. That when we come together, there is going to be a place, a depth that we can reach that is unparalleled. Amen. And that's just what I sense. And, and with that, one of the things that we did on Friday night uh, when Brandon and I was leading praise and worship, um, he began to, to chant this without really putting the two together that, you know, we don't basically we don't care about the time. We, we came to pray. <laughs> and I was like, when he started saying that, y'all know I went crazy because that's our thing. And and it, and I wanted to talk to you about it. It was like, at Unite this weekend, even some people that I knew, you know, they messaged me and they were like, um, what time does Pastor Tony Evans come up? What time is Israel? What you mean, what time? And it's not being funny and it's not being disrespectful, but it kind of grieved me a little bit because that's what we've gotten so used to. How long the praise team is going to be up? How long is the preacher going to preach? Well, I want to pray, but I'm only going to pray for 15 minutes. Yeah. Holy Spirit, have your way. Do the supernatural, but you only got 15 minutes. And that grieves me mm. because that's what the church, a lot of us have come to. Everything has to be like a part of like We use planning center. You got mm. 10 minutes to talk. You got 10 minutes to pray. You got five minutes for the spirit to move. You got seven minutes for the worship team. You got two minutes for the closing. But we want God to do so much. Mm -hmm. But I feel like with this ministry, God is doing something different. And honestly, we're not after the masses. We're after the people who are going to say, you know what? You're right. Mm -hmm. When we come, we come to pray. When we come, we come, and we're going to pray this thing through until we feel that release in our spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like, don't bring your watch. Don't even wear a watch to the night of miracles. We're not going to keep in there all night. But I just want to lose that concept of how long is it going to be? How long before I can get my seat? How long before the angels come in? But we want God to do so much. And then we want to say that God is not moving. No, we have allowed the things of this life to make us think that God works like that. God is not moved by our watches. He's not moved by the fact that you can like go to Chick-fil-A and get your french fries in 30 seconds. God is not a God that moves like that. Amen. He's looking for people. He said, I'm searching. Amen. I'm trying to see. Who can I use in this hour? Amen. And if you're somebody that's going to check your watch all the time and say, I'm loving this move of the spirit, but you only got 15 minutes, don't, that's not who we're after in this season. You know, what you're saying is so profound that it may even change uh, part of what we want to discuss this morning. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. You know, as, as a kid growing up, right, I just had to put uh, my two cents together. I, there were ways I had to measure what I'm giving the world and what I'm giving God. And, you know, so for example, you know, people go to church, like yep. you say, mm -hmm. and they're looking at their, they're looking at their watch, mm -hmm. right? It's just a habit. And it's like, come on guys, you know, there are football games, there yeah, are barbecues. Yeah, but I don't see people rushing out of the football there are, games. There are, I don't. There are things I need to get done. But if you look at these same people, just, just you know, you guys are highly intelligent. So I'm talking to an, a highly intelligent class of people. When you go to work, you go to work. Some of you start work 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, some of you start 7 a.m. And we're not even talking about the time it takes for you to wake up, to get ready, to drive through that uh, crazy traffic mm -hmm. to get to work. Things you have to do with your kids just to get them ready. Everything you have to do just to get ready for work and then be on your way to work and then work for 10, 12 hours and then get home at 6, 7, and start all over again, and you never complain. I mean, you know, you're putting all this time, and these are things that you're giving to the world. But when it comes to God, it's like, 
you know, we, we just got to rush it out in the morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Boom. And, and, and so how, it, it, somebody said, right, you can't, you can't um, eat all day long, okay, all week long, and then have a cold snack on Sunday and think you can make it in life, mm -hmm. right? But that's what it was. I went against the culture. I went in the opposite direction of the culture, even as a kid growing up in my faith. Yes, I, I'm not saying you should do this. I fasted every Christmas day because in my village, you know, people kill cows and everybody's celebrating Christmas. And I'm just like, man, I don't even see God, the God that they're celebrating. I don't even see him as the center of this celebration. So for me, you know, I was a teenager, but I chose to fast. I'll fast till about six and then I'll eat my, you know, I'll, I'll begin to celebrate. But that was just my way of letting God know it's you are this. He's all about you. And I think that when it comes to time, yes, she's absolutely right. We've tied God into a box. And, you know, it's like, this is our plan. You move within our plan. Mm -hmm. When we went to the Open Heaven Retreat, what was the difference that you we saw? We didn't that care about the The time. Holy Spirit was in charge from, from the beginning. To, and a service, man, you can't be the service where the Holy Spirit is in charge. I want to say that again. You cannot beat a service, a meeting, a conf, whatever you want to call it, you cannot be anything where the Holy Spirit is 100% in charge of that event. Yeah. He accomplishes so much more, okay? So much more. And this, this, this doesn't change what we're going to be talking about. I mean, it shifted it a bit, but it really ties into what we're going to be talking about. So this is really important. What you're saying is really powerful. And I just feel like, and so for Night of Miracles, I want it to be packed, but... Not with people who don't want to pray. So mm. I would rather have a handful of people who want to pray this thing through with us than the masses who are going to be checking their watches. And I tell you, you know, part of the, the mission and vision of the Warrior Nation family, our ministry, is truly to raise a people of prayer. We, will, we, will, we have a mandate to train you on how to pray. A lot of people got to be trained. Because I'm appalled at what people call their prayer life. I'm, I get shocked when I, when I see what the church calls prayer. You know what I mean? I'm shocked at that. And so it, there's got to be a renewing of the mind, a renewing of the heart, insight, and training us how to pray is not okay. Let me just teach you how to pray. That's not it's what it is. It's prayer. training you how to pray. You come in and we pray mm -hmm. and we pray. And we stay in the place of prayer and we just keep praying, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm all for this. And I'll just say one more thing. If you notice, I posted a snippet of when I went to Lexington and I prayed. And as I was praying, the choir was standing behind me. And 99% of them were just looking around. Right? But, you, but you're the worshipers. So that's how you know the concept is lost. Because even the people behind you that's in the choir and should be praying with you, we're doing everything but praying while you're praying. So that just shows you that there's a place that we have to go back to and do this thing over because somewhere along the way, we have lost, in a sense, not everybody, but a lot of us have lost this concept of what it means to really be a prayer warrior. Everybody wants to call themselves the Holy One, the prayer. The, I've had people tell me, I'm the international prayer warrior of the United, all this crazy stuff, and you pray for two minutes. Like, I don't get that. But true, true prayer warriors never have to announce yourself. People who are truly anointed by God, you never have to announce yourself. You never have to make this big fuss about yourself because the anointing will present you. The anointing will speak for you. When you open your mouth and you begin to pray, people will know that you have spent time in the presence of the Lord. I always say, I'm Kelly. I never say, I'm Dr. Kelly. I've, I don't think I've ever introduced myself as Pastor Kelly, as Evangelist Kelly, or as Dr. Kelly. I simply say, Kelly. But when I open my mouth and I begin to pray, the anointing speaks for me. Warrior Nation, we are going, and my husband's the same way. I hear people saying, Sino, Sino, Sino. Most people don't even respect him enough to say, Pastor Sino. Don't even respect the office. Don't even respect the anointing. But when he opens his mouth and he begins to teach and he begins to pray, people know that he has spent time with God. And then they're, oh, Pastor Sino, oh, Pastor Sino. So whatever, let's let the anointing of God speak for us. Amen, amen. Well, this ties us into what we want to talk about today. It's called, you know, how to have a prayer lock-in. This is an ancient tradition, an ancient concept we need to restore to the body of Christ. We've lost it, and because we've lost it, we've lost the place of our power. 
You know, we've always talked about enter your power zone. Right. Operate from the offensive, not from the defensive. Mm -hmm. Enter into the offensive. Enter into the power zone where the enemy becomes scared of you, where diseases become afraid mm -hmm. of you, mm -hmm. where, where, where problems you, Lord God. see you and run away from you, right? Yes. So in Acts chapter 6, verses 4, in the King James Version, Acts 6, 4, it says, But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry mm -hmm. of the word. Continually. Keep that there up there. I want everybody to take a second gaze on that scripture. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your heart to it. Come on, people. Come on, Warrior Nation. Instagram, Acts Ask six and the four. Lord to open your spirit to this scripture. Yes, Ask Lord. the Lord to incorporate um, this scripture to you. All right? Ask the Lord to do that. Yes, Lord. All right. We, we, we've got the screen. Okay. There we go. Yes, Put Lord. back that scripture up there. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the, the ministry, ministry of the, of the word. word. All right? Yeah. That's Acts 6, 4. Mm-hmm. And so these were the apostles who said, I think we're, 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 we're caught up in doing too much. Mm -hmm. It's all about doing, 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 rather than being, 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 mm. being, being. Mm. So they're going to change the paradigm. The, the work of the kingdom, the work of God mm -hmm. begins with spending time in his presence. That's it. That's the real work. That is the real job. They say, listen, we can't be all over here serving tables, feeding oh, the right, multitudes. Right. Doing everything you know, but what we the, need to do. Yeah. There were over 20,000 widows back then, mm -hmm. okay, who had to be ministered to daily. There was a daily distribution that, that, that was being uh, delivered to over 20,000 widows because of the presence of God that had fallen upon the cities of Jerusalem. So... They said, listen, we're not going to be caught up that's in that. That's important, but we, this Yeah, that's us, important, but for the leadership, we, we will give ourselves. Give ourselves. Uh -huh. It's a decision. And you have to be able to know what's important and how to prioritize yes. it. Because people really will drag you all over the place. Listen, I have to give myself continually to prayer and to the study of the word. We will give ourselves continually. They understood that if they miss this part of their lives, Everything that God had given to them would not be sustained. Exactly. The, Thank the you, Lord. outpouring of the Holy Spirit would abruptly stop. It will come to a complete Thank you, Lord halt. Jesus. What God intended to accomplish will come, it will be aborted overnight if they miss their abiding place. Hmm. The place of prayer, the place of dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. So they said, listen, let's anoint other people to do yeah, this thing. But for us, we will here. give yeah. ourselves. But let me point this out. We. Yes. We will give ourselves continually to prayer. It was a group of them. Yes. It wasn't just I will give myself to prayer. Yes, we all have an individual mandate, but this ministry has a corporate mandate as well. We will we'll give, give ourselves, ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Con do you know what continually that means? That means without always. Do you know what continually means? Yeah. That is the breakthrough zone we have to enter into. Yes. That is the breakthrough mode, the 24-7 breakthrough mode. Yes. You and I have to now live in. Mm -hmm. We have to live Thank in you, it Lord Jesus. as a way. Yes. If it's not a way of life, it's fake. If it's not a way of life, it's not real. If it's yeah. not a way of life, then it is not authentic. Yes. In other words, it hasn't been forged. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a habit. It's not part of your DNA. It's not part of your system. It is not your culture. The prayer culture of the warrior nation on, is living in this 24-7 breakthrough mode. Yeah. 24-7 breakthrough mode. Yes. And that comes when we make a quality decision that as for me and my house, we as will. for me and my friends, we will give ourselves. The friends you need are praying friends. Mm. The church you need is a praying church. The leadership you need is a praying leadership. The friends you walk around with ought to be praying people. Yes. Ask Daniel and his friends. Yeah. Right? right. So this company. is really important. What good company. We yes. will give ourselves. So it's something that you give yourself to. Kaylee and I now, we've been talking about this for months. We're ready. Okay? We knew this time was coming. We knew the, the, May was going to be the month of miracle. And it's not just us. It's us. Mm -hmm. It's our families. Mm -hmm. It's our staff. Mm -hmm. Our team. Mm -hmm. You know? Even the worship team that is going to be leading worship that day, we are going into multiple lockings mm -hmm. to seek the heart of God, to abide in the presence of God, to soak in his presence, to mm -hmm. sit at his feet, 
and everything else becomes secondary yeah. to that one goal. That's right. Okay, everything else becomes secondary mm -hmm. to that one goal. Now look at Acts chapter 13, verses 2. I wish I had time to read verses 1, so I'm going to paraphrase verses 1. It's giving us a description of what the early church did. The mm, early church... Okay, okay. All right. Acts we'll chapter, let's, Acts let's chapter 13, verses 1 mm -hmm. in the King James. Let me All right. a chance to pull it up. Okay. Now, in Acts chapter 13, verses 1, it gives you an insight into the, the, the main responsibility of the early church, what they actually did. It, it reveals it in a very powerful mm -hmm. way. So, baby, if you don't mind, read verses 1, Acts 13, verses 1, and then we're going to post verses uh, 13, verses 2 on the screen, unless okay. you can post verses 1. All right, All right, Acts 13 and 1, it says, Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, mm -hmm. as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger. That was an African dude, by the way. Simon called Niger was from Africa. Go ahead. Okay, and Lucius, Lucius. of Cyrene mm -hmm. and Manine, uh -huh. which had been brought up with the Herod, with Herod, the, the tet Tetrarch, mm -hmm. and Saul. And Saul, right? Mm -hmm. So this is showing us that in the church, keep that scripture up there, in the church, there were prophets, prophets and teachers. Teachers, leaders. Mm -hmm. Okay, what were they doing in the church? Mm -hmm. What were they doing? Now look at verses two. As they ministered to the Lord. As they ministered to the Lord and did what? And fasted. And fasted. Mm -hmm. What happened? The, the Holy, Holy Ghost Stop that. As they ministered. And you see, fasted. You see the what Holy they, Ghost spoke. You see what they did in the church? Mm -hmm. They ministered to God. What does it mean to minister? To, to praise God, to fast. Thank Same God songs, to worship to God. Him, to bless. This to is abide, the main to responsibility him. to pray. Mm -hmm. It also includes in that because if you mm -hmm. look at the uh, the the let me see here the the next verse uh -huh. verses three uh -huh. and when they had fasted and prayed and prayed mm -hmm. and when they had fasted and prayed so there were three things they were doing mm -hmm. they were ministering, ministering to, to God the yeah they were praying and they were fasting and they were fasting mm -hmm. they were fasted you see. This is really important yep. that we see that. Mm -hmm. That is what the early church did. Yeah. They gave themselves continually, continually mm -hmm. to prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. And then even in the four wall church in the temple, what were they spending most of what were they spending the majority of the time doing? Mm -hmm. Praying, Praying, fasting, fasting ministering, ministering to, to God. Yeah. Are you seeing the model? Mm -hmm. Are you seeing the example? If we want to have the same results that they have, it. we must do what they did. Yeah. Now, in Daniel chapter 6, we see this very quickly. Actually, no, we can go to Daniel chapter 6 right now. This is really important. Why is this lock in necessary? Hmm. There's a, a secret we're going to reveal to you now in Ezekiel 44, 17 and 18. Let's read that quickly. Where are we? Ezekiel yeah. first, not yeah. Daniel? No, yes. Let's go to Ezekiel first. Ezekiel okay. chapter 44. That's Ezekiel 44. Verses 17 and 18. We're going to show you something. This is the handwriting of the Spirit of God on the wall. Mm -hmm. This is why people are burdened, pressured, stressed out. They live in chaos, live in drama, can have no cognitive uh, powers to coordinate things in their life, to order their steps. This is the reason why. We're mm -hmm. going to show it to you in a moment. Ezekiel okay. 44, 17 and 18. And mm -hmm. it shall come to pass that when they enter in at the gates of the inner court, they shall be clothed with linen garments, and no wool shall come upon them. On the line, no wool. No wool. While they minister in the gates of the inner court and, and within. within. What does that mean? Look at verses 18. Okay, They shall have linen bonnets upon their heads, and shall have linen breeches upon their loins. This is the key. They mm. shall not gird themselves mm. with anything that causes sweat. Mm -hmm. Anything that causes sweat. Sweat speaks of self-effort. Mm -hmm. Trying to do things in your own power. Mm. Trying to do things in your, own, in your own strength. So you sweat. Mm. The Bible says, in the sweat of, of your, your face yeah. shall you eat bread. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So if you want sweatless victory... Come on, y'all. If you want, if you want to start living a sweatless life, so many people say, "I've done everything I know to do, and I know what to do." Hmm. No, you haven't. You do. <laughs> no, no, you haven't. Yeah. Because if you did it, something will change. Yeah. Right. So, the, the, a lot of people are sweating. There's too much sweat. Sweat equity. People have built up sweat equity for years. Toiling and toiling and toiling. Listen, I tell you, when you work, you work. But when you pray, God works. God works. When you live. 
and give yourself continually to prayer, God begins to move. There's a difference between praying, we thank God for prayer, and giving yourself to prayer. There is a difference. That's what we're going to explain right. in the next minute. Okay, great. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you got to understand the how difference. to have a powerful lock in. Mm -hmm. All right? Praying and giving yourself to prayer are two different things. And we're going to get into that. So look at Daniel chapter 6, verses 10. We're reading this in the voice translation. Daniel chapter 6, verses 10. How many of you want a sweatless life? I mean, a sweatless level. Yes, there is a realm in God where things become sweatless. All right? Think about it this way. The eagle has to flap his wings At to get first, up. Yeah. Okay? That's sweating. But once okay, he gets up there. But once he gets up there in the wind of God. To a certain altitude. In the wind of God. Remember, it's not down here. As long as he's down, he's got to keep sweating. It's up there on the mountaintop. Up Come there on. in the clouds. Come on. In the wind of God, he stops flapping. And then what you see is, whoo. Yeah, and it looks you, so easy and effortless. And do you know that he actually thrives in the storm? Because he ascends above the storm. Above and then, the clouds. Above, above the clouds. And I'm telling you, he begins to spread his wings. And for the next 30 hours, all you're seeing is he's not even flapping his wings. The flapping ceases and he begins to fly. Yep. He begins to soar. So in Daniel chapter 6, okay, who? Our 633 is almost here. But oh, let's see man, what we can do. Quick. Should we just wait after 633? Yeah. Let's All just right. fly for let's a minute. Let's just, let's just fly for a minute. Up. Let's All fly. Right. How many of you are saying, I'm tired of sweating? Spreading my wings. Amen. I'm tired, of, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of eating bread in the sweat of my face. And I know what you mean because just like this weekend, we had news stations coming up to us saying, can we just interview you all next week? We weren't even looking. For, people were coming looking for us. Like, what's happening with y'all? We just want to... <laughs> It was so crazy what people were doing this weekend. Amen. That's an example of how Amen. when you get to a certain height, it all starts to come to you. Amen. Type in 633. 633, let's all get right? it. And this is what 633 is really all about. Seek ye first. You see how the order is? The world tells you, chase after things. Yeah. Work yourself to the bone. Go out there and live the American dream. God says, let me change the paradigm. Instead mm -hmm. of seeking stuff, seek me. I was telling somebody yesterday, we were uh, having lunch yesterday, and I was telling these beautiful brothers who came all the way from Virginia to this event, mm -hmm. United Mississippi, and I told them, I said, I said, you know that, um, that God is, has opened uh, uh, such an open door in this season, and the secret of wealth mm -hmm. is the presence of God. Uh, listen to me right now. The secret to that open door, the secret to your breakthrough, the secret to supernatural favor, just things moving in a way that nobody can explain. All of that mm -hmm. is tied to, to the presence. presence of God. Yeah. You seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yeah. and all these other things that everybody added. is running helter yeah. and scared and dying for would be effortlessly, yeah. sweatlessly yeah. added to you, yep. okay? But you got to be consumed with the kingdom of God. Lord, we just want to pause and acknowledge you in this moment, standing on Matthew 6, yes, that we Lord. are seekers of the kingdom of God. We are chasers of the kingdom of God. We are consumed with the kingdom of God. We are consumed with your purpose. We are consumed with what Lord, you want. Name, we are consumed Father. with souls. We are consumed you. with the expansion of your kingdom. So God, we lift up the entire warrior nation. Yes, and we thank you that they have the same desire, yes. the same drive, the We're same crave, you, the same longing, yeah. seeking after you like Mary. They sat at your feet. Yes, Not Lord. like Martha, running yeah, helter, around, scared, busy. And just busy with the mundane. And Jesus said, she's chosen the one thing that will never be taken away from her. Thank God, may God. we be people who are seeking after the one thing. Yes. One thing have I desired that will I will seek after, after that, I dwell, that I may dwell at the feet, house, at the presence Thank of you, God Jesus. all the days, yes, not Lord. some moments, no, all, all the, the time, days of my life, continually, yes, Lord, like Enoch for 300 years. Yeah. The Bible says he had a habitual, Thank unbroken you, fellowship with God. It got so sweet, God just took him up. Yes, God, may our fellowship in the spirit so get so sweet, sweet you, that we cross between worlds, yes. between yeah. dimensions in the name the of the lord thank jesus you, lord we jesus. thank you for it right now yes, lord. in jesus mighty in jesus name. name amen and amen, amen. man thank i feel you, the presence jesus. of god in this place thank i tell you, you right now thank you lord all right who thank, thank you, you lord god. jesus praise thank you, lord god jesus. hallelujah hallelujah thank you, lord jesus. to the lord, lamb of god you, lord, we, we thank you lord let your name lord, be glorified we exalt you let your name be glorified yes lord in jesus mighty name now 
in Daniel Thank chapter you, 6, Jesus. verses 10, mm -hmm. and I just tell you right now, we feel a sense of urgency. I know your night has come to an end, but I'm telling you, our work is just beginning. <laughs> I believe that in the month of May, mark this. I want you to write this down. I believe in the month of May, we are going to accomplish as a family together what it takes other people an entire year to accomplish. We're going to get it done in one month. Amen. You say, how is that even possible? Well, I tell you, you know, when the Israelites began to live in sin and disobedience, God stretched a day to one year. Instead of the 40 days it should have taken them to enter into their promised land, God stretched each day to a year. So that means it now took 40 years. To do what would have okay? taken only. So that means you can accomplish mm -hmm. in one day what it takes others one year to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying this to make you... Uh, you know, to, to prompt you up unnecessarily. I'm, I'm talking reality. Thank you, Lord. In the month of May, mm -hmm. I am convinced that the warrior nation is going to achieve things that it takes others two, three years to accomplish. Yes. We are going to accomplish it in the next 31 days. Absolutely. Now, I'm ready. How are we going to do it? Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 6, verses 10. Now, my boo loves Daniel. I do. Okay? And um, Daniel... If you're hearing from heaven, <laughs> she wants to have a conference call with you when she gets there. All right. Okay. So let's see this. It says, even though Daniel was aware that the king had signed the ordinance into law, what did he do? He continued, he to, continued, do what he continued did. to do what he always did. Let me ask you, what are you doing that you always do? What, what is it that you're always doing? What are you known for oh, in that's your community? Good. Let, hold on, let them... Yeah, okay. keep asking, but let's absorb these questions. This is good. What do your children know you for? What I'm talking to the father. You? I'm talking to the fathers now. All the amazing men watching us now. Yes. What do your sons and your daughters? What do they see you always? What is the one thing that you always do that they see you always do? Mm. Right. This That's is good. really important. I mean, this is something Daniel did the whole time. He says he continued to it. do what he always he did. He continued to do what he always did. And what was it? Hmm. The Bible says he would go home, would go home ascend, ascend the, to the stairs, stairs to the, upper, to the room. upper room, which had windows facing toward Jerusalem, and get, and get down, down on his knees, on his knees three, three times, times a day, day and pray, pray to his God, God and, praise and praise him. him. You all remember what we talked about Thanksgiving, that you have to... Thanksgiving has to be 99% of the prayer that you pray. Now, watch Daniel, okay? For those of you who say I'm too busy, you are not more busier than Daniel. <laughs> Daniel oversaw an entire empire. He was the prime minister yeah. over Babylon, mm -hmm. over Persia. He was a prime minister over three kingdoms and three consecutive times. So you are not more busier than, I can promise you right now, mm -hmm. no, you are not. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of the Three load of his responsibilities, mm -hmm. he had time. Three times a day. He made time. Right? Yeah. Look at what he did. Number one, he will leave work. And go home. And go home. Mm -hmm. He will mount up, he will go upstairs. He had a specific place where he met with God. Mm -hmm. This was his sanctum. Mm -hmm. This was his sanctuary. This was a place he, re, he reserved for the presence of God. I want to show you how to have a lock-in. Number one, you must have frequent daily times of prayer. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that gives you more momentum in your prayer life than when you pray frequently. Come on, type it in. Frequent times of prayer frequent throughout the day. daily times of prayer. You've mm -hmm. got to give yourself to the, is the frequency. The secret of building momentum in prayer is the frequency with which you pray. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how to do it. It's not magic. It's not a magic one, and it's not difficult. It's just this thing we talk about, learning to acknowledge God all the time. Get yeah. into the habit. Let me give you an example. You're driving to work. Mm -hmm. You get to work. Before you hurriedly come out of your car, just pause. Think about how many people try to make it to work and didn't make it. Amen. Okay? Just pause and say, God, Thank you for your protection. Thank you, Lord. Then get out of your car. Mm -hmm. During your break, before you run helter skelter, just, just get back uh -huh. into If there's no place to pray, get outside your office, get into your car, walk, take a walk, and just let God know that you know. That you I'm acknowledge aware, Him in your daily mm -hmm. life, that in your you, daily activity. You, God. God, thank you. Thank you that yeah. I'm seeing the sun shine yeah. in the afternoon. Thank you. That thank I you that I'm experiencing this amazing hear. rain that is falling yeah. right now. As you, it's in the frequency, mm -hmm. the secret 
is the frequency they gave themselves continually mm -hmm. to prayer, mm -hmm. right? So this was something that literally turned into a habit. Okay. Now, so the more you do it, of course, it's going to become a habit. So daily frequency. Number two, choose the time length that you're going to give yourself to prayer. When God began to train me on how to pray as a 12-year-old kid, I made a covenant with God that every midnight I'm going to give myself to two hours of prayer. Was it always easy? No. But because I, I had made that decision, I never got up from prayer until those two hours were, com were complete. Now, it's not about the length, mm -hmm. okay? But it's about the habit. You've got to build. You need structure in your prayer life mm -hmm. because it's the structure that leads to the sporadic times of prayer. There are people saying, no, I'm just going to pray when I feel like it. You're not going to get too far with that. Mm -hmm. You need some structure in your prayer life. Mm -hmm. So you set a time. So for example, in the morning, mm -hmm. the warrior nation is meant to wake up at 4 a.m. and pray. Mm -hmm. That's a time. And we pray till about from 4 to 5. That's one hour. Mm -hmm. And then okay. we get back on together at 6. And we get back together on 6. So mm -hmm. you can choose to say, listen, I'm going to give myself to all these little increments of five, five minutes throughout the day. You can set that time. Mm -hmm. During your break, you can take the first five minutes, the first 10 minutes, do it sometimes in the evening, right? There was, uh, as a student, I had this thing I call the Holy Ghost time. It was 8 p.m. Every 8 p.m., no matter what was happening, I'll go to my room, I'll lock myself in, Holy and Ghost I'll spend time. an and one hour in prayer with the Holy Spirit. That was my covenant with God. Wow. And that is what makes your prayer powerful. When they said we will give ourselves, mm -hmm. I promise you, they locked in a time to that time when they were going to give themselves to prayer. Let me say this. I saw somebody say, yeah, Kelly, because I remember when you were praying in your car. Well, I don't know if you all knew this or not, but I was actually doing what I always do. I always prayed in my car before I would go in for work. And just... The Holy Spirit spoke to me one day and said, start recording yourself. So it wasn't like I ran to the car and staged a prayer. True. I just began to do what I was already doing. It's just, it was a, the time had come for God to reveal me to the world. Man. So it wasn't like I just ran to the car and said, oh, let me do it. No, it was something that I, I always prayed in my car and I still do. It was just a season came where God said, okay, I want you to record it. And I didn't even know why he was telling me to do that. I thought it was the craziest thing ever and post it. So it was something that I'd already locked in those times in my car because, you know, trying to do things with the kids. It was just a time for me where after I would drop the kids off, that I could have a moment by myself. And a lot of times, even before worship team practice, a lot of those videos that went viral, I would get to church an hour early and just sit in my car. And those videos that you saw would just be a brief moment of what I was doing in the car for an hour or two. Man. And I would just record it. So it's not complicated. It's just you know, like you say, do what you always do. And if you're not doing that, let this become the thing that you always do. Amen. And can you imagine, just look at Daniel, right? Just look, how do you, wasn't was just one time enough? Okay, okay, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Wasn't two times enough? This is what he did every single day. He'll come home three times. I believe it was the morning, the afternoon, yeah. and the evening. Mm -hmm. Three times a day, mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. He will come home. He had Frequent times of prayer, yep. very specific times of prayer, because mm -hmm. he had to lock it into a specific mm -hmm. time to the point that the government he served honor it. Yeah. The 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 king honored it. Mm -hmm. The the cabinet honored it. They yes. just knew at this time yeah, you're not gonna get to Daniel. Pray. Daniel is going to pray. Mm -hmm. Where's Daniel at this time of the afternoon? Oh. He's somewhere mm -hmm. praying. Where's mm -hmm. Daniel at 4 p you know, 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. in the evening? He's somewhere praying. Mm -hmm. This is how the prayer watches evolved. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the third thing was he had a specific place where he prayed. Mm -hmm. A specific place where he prayed. If you really want to take your prayer life to the next level, there's got to be an area of the house that you Special. reserve for the presence of God. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's your bathroom, your closet. I don't care how small. That's not the key. There's got to be this place when you enter your kids. And nobody enters that place mm -hmm. anyhow. Mm -hmm. It's a place you have reserved. Mm -hmm. And once you come into the house and prayer calls you, you go into them. When everybody knows you're in that room, they know, they to, know leave you alone. to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Leave you alone until you come out and say, it's okay now for us to do other business. Amen. But until then, this is how you actually have a lock-in. And God is calling the entire warrior nation, all of us, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. to go back to this ancient landmark, this ancient practice. Yes. Where you spend half a day, all day. We're going to be doing it 
okay, in the Warrior Nation team here, staff, leading up to the night of miracles, we're going to be spending half days, whole days in prayer, fasting, seeking the face mm -hmm. of God as we expect an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We have someone with us this morning from Pakistan. Thank Pakistan. you. Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Wow. On YouTube. Wow, you too. Thank you so much. My brother, my sister from Pakistan, whoever you are. <laughs> God bless you. I've actually had an invite to come to Pakistan this many years ago, but I couldn't go. I've had invites to Pakistan. Please spread the word in Pakistan Amen. and tell others about us, please. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being Praise a part God. of our family. I love that. Praise Thank you God. for pointing that out. Thank so you, God is calling us. I'm telling you, this is where the oil, the sweatless, he says, those who are going to minister to me in the inner court, they must not wear any garment that causes sweat. Because in the presence of God, you do not sweat. You live a sweatless life of victory. I'm telling sure. you right now. And that's where we're going. So in the month yes, of May, this is so important, let me just tell you a few things to expect. We are introducing to you what we call the prayer watches yeah. of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. There are eight prayer watches, four of them in the daytime, four of them in the nighttime. We're going to show you why the prayer watches are so important. And we are going to be Prayed. That means there's going to be a 6 a.m. prayer, mm -hmm. 9 a.m. prayer, 12 noon prayer, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. prayer, 6 p.m. prayer, 9, 9 p.m. prayer, midnight. 12 midnight prayer, mm -hmm. 3, 3 a.m. prayer, 6 a.m. prayer, uh, uh, so 9 so a.m. prayer, yeah. 12, 12 noon prayer. Three, six, and I mean, nine. just people <laughs> praying. And you, uh, we're going to, you know, you're going to choose your own watch. When that time comes, you and everybody else in that watch will pray. So there will be prayers ascending, ascending like incense. You know, I've, we've, we've shared this before you. Mm -hmm. The clouds have to be full. Come on, y'all. You can't we make can't withdrawals when you have no deposits. We got to make So some the goal that of the Warrior Nation is to make as many deposits in your glory bank. Mm -hmm. Before are, May 31st. There are two types of bank. The bank where you put your natural money in and the bank of glory. Mm. You cannot make withdrawals where you have no deposits. Mm -hmm. That is why the church is dry. The pulpit is dry. Oh, everything is dry because there are no deposits in your glory We're bank. We're making deposits. I'm making deposits. So we have to make I'm enough deposits, deposits on, for us to make withdrawals yeah. On the night of miracles. Come so on, who's with us? Come on, we need you. Who wants to make the positive in their glory Somebody back? says you have a testimony and you want to send it. You send it to Brittany on Instagram. B Berry, B B E R R Y Kelly Lane dot org. They said they have an audio testimony. That Amen. They want to send. Please send it in. Listen, we, we listen. Who's making deposits? We cannot expect something on May thirty first if we have not made deposits. No, We're not just going to ride off no, of last year's glory. No. We are going to press in, and y'all, this this is going to. It's be, the work of prayer. The work of seeking. Listen, that's why I tell you we're going to achieve so much more in the month of May than most people do in two, three years. I promise you, you're going to see what happens when you pray. Mm -hmm. When you give yourself. Not, I'm just praying. Blah, 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 blah. No, when you, gi giving yourself means you've made a mental, emotional, spiritual decision mm -hmm. to make prayer your priority. So I mean, and, prayer is my priority. And nothing is going to contest with that. Mm -hmm. no, it, when, it becomes a, when something is a priority in your life, you know what's a you priority. Make, oh, you make room. You make what, whatever you want, you know, you know how it is. Whatever you when, want, you're gonna make room. When my boo, and thank you to our brother or our sister in Pakistan, you say it's your first time watching, you like it. Thank you. She's when about to throw boo, me under the boss. When ahead. my boo was trying to play like he, you know, wasn't into me, <laughs> he was making all these excuses. I don't know why, because I wasn't even jocking him, but he was, oh, I'm so busy with your nine. I'm so this. And finally, I said, I told God, I said, you know what? I know, I've lived long enough to know that anything that's a priority, I don't care. Busy? Yes, he was. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. But when something becomes a priority, there's no, it's not a nuisance. You make time, time for, for it. it. So there are no excuses. Think about it. You there aren't any. You make time for all the things you love. That, it's true. You know, you go watch football. You don't care about the, the inconveniences. Some mm -hmm. of you In can cold, get, you know, snow, you cold snow. Rain. You got to, you know, you pay the price. You find the money. All of a sudden now you've got the money to get the ticket. Mm -hmm. You always make time for what is important to you. And so, for us, our DNA, our oxygen, our culture mm -hmm. is prayer. Nothing and prayer rivals the prayer we of God. will do. So, in the month of May, you are going to pray more than you've ever prayed in the whole four months combined, January, February, March, April. You are going to give your bones, your blood, the hair on your head. On, Everything in you will pray. And let me ask you this. <clears throat> this is coming from me. I'm asking you. Can we show up for something mm. other than a football game or a concert. Mm. Can we actually 
fill up a church to the point where the news comes running and saying, what is going on over here? Can we do that for Night of Miracles? Amen. We can pack out stadiums for football games. We can, we can stand in line for hours for a new and iPhone. And not complain. And not even complain. But when it comes to the things of God, if it rains, if it's cold, if it's an inconvenience, we won't do it. But I'm asking you, can we show the world that God really is our priority, that prayer really is our priority? Can we show up to such an extent that people are like, who are these people? What is happening? That's what I'm believing God for, you know, for Night South, of Miracles. South, South Korea in the 1950s was the second poorest nation on the planet. Now South Korea is either the 13th or 12th wealthiest nation in the world. I tell you their secret. Their secret was prayer. 2010, I was there. And I'm telling you, 5 a.m. in the morning, Monday through Fridays, baby, they had prayer meetings all over the nation. Mm -hmm. People, it's, it's such a culture. It's been a culture for the last 35 years. People know to wake. I saw snow from here to here, right? Mm -hmm. And the church was packed out in the frozen cold. Yeah. Like you couldn't find a seat at 4 a.m. in the morning, people praying. Yeah. Two 4 a.m. in the morning, people praying. Two things. Number one, I asked you a question. Can we show up for something other than a football game or a concert? I want to see what you have to say. Number two, I want to go to South Korea. Okay, we're going to South Korea then. I want to go to Prayer Mountain. All right, we're going to Prayer Mountain then. That's where I want to okay. go. Okay, uh, uh, Dr. Yonggi Cho, Dr. Cho, by the way, is the, who pastors one of the largest churches in the world. You know, he's, he was taught to pray by his mother. Mm. And her answer for everything, uh, when you come to her and say, I... I she says, go pray. Mm -hmm. Whatever you tell her, she says, go mm -hmm. to, to prayer mountain and go there and pray. And, you know, we talked about a prayer village, a prayer city. I, 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 we have seen this it's in coming. the vision it's of coming. our eyes. Yeah. A, a, a city full of people praying, an open place, open field where people come to pray day and night and the doors are not shut. And that's what we're going to have. People coming it's in coming. from all over the world it's coming. to encounter the living God. Through prayer. And thank you for so many people saying, yes, I'm going to be there. I Amen. will show up. And they say, I'm going to show up and I'm coming to pray. Amen. Thank you. That's exactly what we need you to do. I'm telling you, we're, we're going to do right. this for Jesus. All right. Listen, guys, type in the names of your loved ones. Uh, let's lift them up in prayer and let's claim them for Jesus this morning. And let's get ready to do that. So go ahead and type in that. And as you're typing that, just stay in a, in a prayer thank mode you, Lord right God. now. Just thank you, Lord set Jesus. your heart to pray. We're going to spend a little minute in prayer Yeah. and just say, God, I'm ready for the month of miracles. Yeah. I'm ready to Are experience ready? miracles every single day throughout the month yeah. of May. Yeah. I am ready. Who is ready with us? I'm ready. Right? To our so, uh, brother, sister in Pakistan, we're in Mississippi. Amen. That's where we are. Amen. We're in Mississippi. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord Jesus. Keep and, typing and so, these names in. Yeah. yeah. While you're doing that, can we just pray for Pakistan? Yeah. Can we just pray for all the believers and and Christians in the nation of Pakistan mm -hmm. and just say, God, let, let revival break out there. Father, we just lift up our Pakistanian brothers and, and sisters, sisters yes, there, Lord. Father. Even, even, even the Muslim community, God, we lift them all up, God. We lift them up. We yes, thank Lord. you for that nation. Yes, we Lord. bless that nation. May your presence we bless there, that Lord. place, God. Yes, Lord. Let your presence saturate that nation. Yes, Lord. In the name of the Lord, let revival yes, come to that Lord nation. Jesus. Let prosperity come to that nation. Let, let, let increase come to that nation. Let the favor of God come to that nation. Yes. In the name yes, of Jesus, Lord. let the body of Christ come. Continue to grow exponentially. Yes, Lord. Let people fall in love with you in that nation like never before. Yes, Father we God. That thank you for it right morning, now Lord. in Jesus' in mighty Jesus name. name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If that Jesus. brother from Pakistan or that sister, whoever mm -hmm. you are, can mm -hmm. you write, send us something in our private inbox? Send us a message. We'd like to stay in touch with you mm -hmm. and just continue to pray for your nation. Continue to pray for you all there. Just email us. Um, let's email Brittany. B. Berry. B. B. E. R. R. Y. Can you just like... Before it's over, uh, our production team is going to put Brittany's email on the screen so that our family from Pakistan can connect with us, okay? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So we can finish. All right. Let's lift up those names. Father, we thank mm -hmm. you for our loved ones. We claim them for you. We break the hold of the enemy over them. We yes, lift Lord. up the veil over their hearts and minds. We thank We're you for the light in, of the glorious gospel. As for we and our house, we, we will serve, serve the you, Lord. Lord. Yes. In Jesus' mighty in name. Jesus name. Amen and amen thank you, Lord God. and amen. Listen to us right Thank now. You, Jesus. If you haven't made Jesus the Lord of your life, come on, Warrior Nation. Yeah, this come is on, a very important part of what we do. Stay with us here 
In the name of Jesus, just pray this simple prayer. Pray it from your heart. I don't care where you're watching from. God is the God of all people. I'm telling you right now, and he is ready to reveal himself to you. You say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for going to the cross to die for me. Thank you for shedding your precious blood to wash me from all of my sin. With all of my heart, I believe that God raised you from the dead. With my mouth, I confess you as my Lord and as my Savior. I receive the gift of eternal life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. If you yes, pray Lord. that prayer, I tell you, welcome home. Welcome to the family of God. Send us an email at decision at warriorlife.cc. Again, decision Lord, at warriorlife.cc. Yes, Let us help you start out your new journey yes. in Christ and make sure that you stay connected to us Monday through Fridays, yes. 6 a.m. U.S. Central Time. We're also still asking others. Thank you for YouTube. We are breaking numbers over there, Amen. breaking records on YouTube. Amen. We're still asking like Instagram and Facebook. We're asking people to go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Kelly Lane Oguese. And I think it says Warrior Nation also. If you type those in, you'll find it. Please go over and subscribe to YouTube. Amen. Sometimes we have issues on Facebook, uh, just like we stream your night. Um, on Friday night, it didn't hit Facebook, it only hit YouTube. So if for whatever reason, one morning you don't see us on Facebook, go to YouTube. So we really want you all to go over there and subscribe to their page as we work on our own private streaming channel. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, please go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, several easy ways to invest. We have two days left in this month. All right, and we want you all to really sow into this, sow into this ministry. Let's give a Thanksgiving yeah. offering for the yeah. end of this month and the beginning of the miracle month, all yeah. right? I mean, you want every aspect. When we call the night of miracles, the night mm -hmm. of miracles, mm -hmm. you know, why did God give Kelly this name? Mm -hmm. It's not so we can give an event. We do not give our events titles. Mm -hmm. We give them a, a name that is forged in the heart of God. Right. It's a night of miracles because God intends to do miracles mm -hmm. that night. Mm -hmm. And it's all types. Okay, we're talking financial. We're talking relational. Mm -hmm. We're talking marriage miracles. We're talking vocational miracles, yeah. we're talking open, you name it, anything you think is an open door type of miracle, yeah. that's the miracle that we're talking about. Right. And so begin to sow into this now. Yeah, it's very okay? important, y'all. You, you want your finances to change, sow, sow into, into it now. Yeah. Don't wait for us to tell you to sow, mm -hmm. start sowing. You have to make up your mind. Let, let me tell you how God works. Mm -hmm. When people come hungry to an encounter, God puts the anointing mm -hmm. On, on us, us to meet that need, yeah. okay? But the desire has to come from you. Yeah. In other words, you need to make a personal covenant with God and say, God, this is why I'm coming. Yeah. I'm not just coming to come. Mm -hmm. I am coming. I am coming on a mission. Yeah. I am coming to achieve something. I want, I want things to change. Yeah. I want th some things to shift. Yes. Make an oath. Get into a covenant with God. Yeah. And then write out the terms of that covenant mm -hmm. and play your role so that God can be obligated to yeah. play his role. Yeah, we really need you all to sow into this. Several easy ways to give. On Facebook, it's the blue donate button. We also have the text giving phone number for everybody, which is 601-844-0024. Our PayPal is paypal.me slash warrior nation. Our P.O. Box is P.O. Box 16257, Jackson, Mississippi, 39236. Our ministry cash app is going after the one completely spelled out. And then for those of you today who will send us a personal gift, you can do that through our, our personal cash app, which is Kelly E. Lane, completely spelled out. K-E-L-L-I-E-E-L-A-N-E. -E -E. Okay, y'all, we really need y'all to do this. We got two days left in this month, and we really need y'all to sow into this, and let's get ready for our month of miracles. I also want to just throw this in quickly. I do not feel led to do I Am Woman this year in the fall. I, I prayed about it and I have peace about it. But what I do and what we do feel led to do for this year is to host a night of prayer. But baby, as we were talking a minute ago, I also heard a night of healing. Mm. I heard it. So we just want to shift things. And really, really, this year is our focus. Our focus is on prayer. We'll bring it back later, but I'm not going to do it this year. Instead, we're looking for in October doing something maybe Coliseum style, maybe uh, for a, a night of prayer. Or it might be a night of prayer, a night of healing, or it might be a night of healing. It's going to be a night of something amazing. And so we'll tell you more about that. But I, we do feel pretty clear on that, that for this year in the fall, we're going to do something on prayer. Okay? So just we'll tell you more about it soon. We just want to put that out there for you. Um, we love y'all very much. Make sure you are sewing into this today. Instagram, we're going to lose you in like one minute. But just know that we have restocked um, things in our store that we want y'all to go and check out. Okay? And the store address is Warrior 
hyphenapparel.org. Jump over there. We've got some new skirts and some amazing things in stock. We love you all. But for the rest of you, I'm going to actually show you a couple things really quick before I let you go. We have restocked the best seller, the short camo. It's restocked. Okay. I like when my boo helps nice. me. Y'all go over there and get this stuff. All right. This is warriorapparel.org. This is a short one. It falls a little bit below your knees or so. Uh, we also restocked the pink and turquoise camo. We have a few of these left. All right. Really pretty. Okay. And this one that we call the peacock. You got 14 seconds for this. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram knows where to go. I'll show them a video later. But this is the peacock. So y'all go over there and get it. Let me stretch it out. I want them to see the little peacock little design in the front. Stretch it out, babe. Help me stretch it out. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is out. the peacock, sir. This is ankle length, y'all. So y'all grab this one, too. My boo feels awkward when I have them holding up skirts. I know, right? And tons of other things. We got Mother's Day shirts. We got all kinds of stuff. We want y'all to go over there. Don't forget to get your School to Supernatural shirts, uh, which is for June 1st at the convention center, which we're wearing just for SOS. Make sure you register for SOS. Um, and then that's the shirt for that, which we're wearing. And don't forget your Night of Miracle shirts, which is somewhere, the sound of heaven touching earth. It's not in here. But we also have these for Mother's Day. Giant slaying, Jesus loving, praying mama. We have that in white and turquoise and in purple and white. Grab these. Got a lot of cool stuff. Let me show you one more thing. Two more things, we'll let you go. Okay. Oh, thank you. Written had it. This is. You're not a, we're asking everybody to wear this to the Night of Miracles. You can come without it, but we just ask you if possible to please get it. It comes in unisex, which is this one, and in bling, the sound of heaven touching earth. We brought these new M633 designs oh, out for the spring and summer. Pretty. The stones are. This one is fuchsia. The stones are actually fuchsia. And we did the... This would go great with the peacock skirt. See? M633. My boo's favorite. <laughs> it's ministry name. Well, I guess since we're married, I can say our now. It's ours. Do I have the right to say our? I know. I'm kidding. Ours. I know it's ours. More to come. Big things are going to be popping off with M633 very soon. You'll know more about that in a minute. And this is the unisex version. Big things are popping. And it was something else I was going to show y'all. What was it? Don't forget your prayer cloths. It was something so good. Oh, Empire is this week. Yes. Somebody just signed up this morning. We will be in Atlanta this weekend. So if you are coming, email Phyllis, pbailey at kellylane.org, and go ahead and secure your spot. You'll fall in with one of our appointments that we already made, unless you are one-on-one -on -one VIP. We have our groups. Most of you should have already gotten your appointment time by now. Come ready. It's going to be excited. I'm excited about it. Amen. All right. So we'll see y'all in Atlanta this Saturday. If you want to still sign up for that, then email Phyllis P. Bailey. I don't know why we don't have any graphics right now, but P. Bailey at kellylane.org. And lastly, I will be preaching here at one church, which is locally on Mother's Day. I'll have a graphic for that in a couple of days, but I will be preaching there. It's right here in Jackson and Doolin Hall, for those who are familiar with that, on Mother's Day, which I believe is May 12th. Mother's All right. Day, people. Is that right? Is Mother's Day May 12th or May 11th? May 12th, I'm preaching. So y'all come out and support. All right, come meet us in person. We'll be there at one church. Uh, the pastor, Donovan Thickpen, is amazing. His wife, Alice. Mm -hmm. So we will be there Absolutely. for Mother's Day. All right, we love you all. Love we'll you see all. you later. Go check out the store, warrior-apparel.org, and we'll catch you later. Love y'all. Warrior, Warrior Nation. Nation, we love y'all big time. Love you so much. Do and us a we favor. need a big favor from you right yes. away. Yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. We want everybody moving in that direction right now. <laughs> yes. So right. Go over to YouTube, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. We do the same thing on YouTube as we do on other platforms. But we really want to send more traffic to YouTube because for some of things the kind of freedom. The There's a freedom yeah. they give us that so many other channels don't give us. So yeah. please subscribe. Yes. Yeah. Kelly Lena Guayas is the channel. We want everybody to go over there and subscribe. We love y'all big time. All right. Ciao. Hello, Warrior Nation. Hello, Warrior Nation. Millionaires and millionaires in the making. Yes. <laughs> we are doing Empire VIP next up in Atlanta. Atlanta. On May 4th. Is it Atlanta or Atlanta? Either one is fine. Yes. Atlanta. On the May 4th, I'm beginning to really like that city. I'm telling you now, the Atlanta, <laughs> you guys rock. Yeah, so we're coming there. 
We have a huge base in Atlanta. So we're coming to you to make things easier. And also it's easier for the Warriors to navigate to Atlanta from various places. So May 4th, we will be there for Empire VIP, small group sessions or one-on-one -on -one with us. And I think it's really, really beneficial. We did it at the Empire in Dallas and it was amazing. And now we're bringing it to Atlanta. You know, a lot of people have issues with how do I start a business or I have a business that's kind of hit a ceiling. How do I break that ceiling? Yeah. How do I rebrand? How do I get the word out? Yeah. How do I begin to make impact in areas that I've never made impact before? Right. Many questions, one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one yeah. with us, very yeah. personal, very intimate, very yeah. on point. Um, the spirit of wisdom is really strong in leaders like that. We thank God for, it. Like it. Thank God for yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, so we are looking forward to having you there. Yeah. And I want you all to bring your laptops or your iPads so we can actually look at your website, look at your social media. Yes. You need to be on social media. Let us look at that and give you some um, tips, tips, and also even some referrals on some things that you might need more help with. All right. We want to walk you through this. You know, one of the interesting things we noticed was we even used some of the contacts we knew. We shared them. Uh, we gave people numbers and names. And, you know, if we felt like we could help you in some yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, your success is our success. Is our Seriously. Success. And God is taking us all higher. Absolutely. We're going up together. We're going so together. for your appointment time. All right. And more information. Email my sister Phyllis P. Bailey at kellylane.org on May 4th of 2019. Let's see you in Atlanta. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started.